Hey guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch. Here I am on one of my favorite toys. Now, one of the nicest things about owning a ranch or a farm, whatever you want to call it, is you have to have toys. You need lots of toys. You need to have a good pickup truck. You have to have an ATV, maybe a UTV. You have to have a good tractor, a couple of snowmobiles maybe, depending on where you live. But one toy that's great to have, you really need to get yourself a bulldozer. <laughs> there are a few things that are more fun. Of course, maybe you're in the bulldozing business and you don't agree with me, but you, get, you guys know. But for a guy on a ranch, and I have, don't forget, I have two sons and two grandsons, three grandsons, sorry. I have granddaughters too, but anyway. And I'll tell you, there are a few things that make a young man's face light up better than hauling around on a bulldozer. It's fantastic. But we actually use this bulldozer. We make trails in the woods. We clean up the corral. We push uh, things around that horses leave occasionally. Stuff like that. So the bulldozer to us is actually a tool, but I got to be honest with you, we could get along without it, but I wouldn't be as happy. Bulldozer is great. So here's my uh, good old John Deere 450D, and uh, I want to talk about one thing uh, that I have found on this has saved me a lot of aggravation and saved me a lot of money. $225. That's what it costs for a battery, one battery for a bulldozer. Now again, you guys that are in the bulldozing business, you know that. They're expensive. They're big. They're heavy, they have extra thick plates. I don't know if they're deep cycle or whatever, but I know they're expensive as heck because I just bought new batteries, plural, for this bulldozer. $225 per battery. There's two of them. Yeah, it's called $500 to replace the batteries. Now, I don't know what it's like for you guys. I have a heck of a time keeping batteries in good condition. Snowmobile, ATVs, UTV, tractors. I just can't seem to do it. I always lose at least one battery every winter. I use solar chargers and, 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 and special intelligent chargers, all kinds, of, doesn't seem to work. But I solved the problem with my bulldozer, yep, 20 bucks. Great, third year now with these batteries, which, is, which I think is great. And I, I, I didn't run it all winter long. I didn't run for five months. I came out here just over a month ago, jumped up on it, did a quick check, turned the key, boom, just like that. Didn't actually start the way a John Deere is supposed to start. It started better than that. Anyway, I was pretty happy. What did I do? Very simple. You see that thing right here? It's called a solar charger. Now, you've all seen them. You go into any place, Harbor Freight, Home Depot, they've all got these. And this is just a small one. You don't need a great big one. You don't need a 90 watt or 150 watts. This is, I don't even know what this is. Probably a 9 or 10 or 15 watt solar charger. Very small. I think it cost me 20 bucks on sale. Comes with a cord. Just that easy. And so, two years ago, two winters ago, I got this thing. It's worked great for me. I put it on the bulldozer facing south. Now in the wintertime, I don't put it here. In the wintertime, I tie it up here under the exhaust stack. Top, bottom, facing south. Simple. In, in, in the summertime, I cover the seats and so on to keep it looking good. Then I just have a wire on it and I just hook it on here again facing south. I have it on here all the time. Batteries are expensive. And the wire runs over. We're going to show you the, what the batteries look like if you guys are not bulldozer people, you're not familiar, and Kevin's going to put a picture of the batteries in there, and you can see two great big batteries, and you can see what I've done there. I've simply hooked up the alligator clips from my charger to the appropriate post, one to the ground, the, the black, and then one to the red. Now, there's two batteries in here. You have to be sure you hook it up properly so that each battery has got ground and the red cord from the charger hooked up to the positive. What I'm going to do, this has worked so well, I'm going to actually wire in the connector. So in the future, I don't even have to open the battery compartment. I can just plug in my charger, hook it onto the side of the machine facing south, and I'll walk away, knowing that my bulldozer will always start and my batteries will last a long, long time. I'm actually anxious to see how long they'll last. Technically, if the batteries are kept charged all the time, they will last forever. Hi, Rocky. And, uh, and uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how long they last. Anyway, a little tip. These little cheap chargers, I used to walk by them all the time. I finally bought one, and it works for this application anyway. Think about it. The guys with bulldozers, you know how expensive they are. Okay, just a little tip from Alec at the Ranch. Talk to you again soon. I'm going bulldozing.